okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. XL5 to Space City. Steve Zodiac here, checking in at end of patrol. Your routine check log, Fireball XL5. Anything to report before you leave the sector, Steve? Not a thing, Commander. In fact, it's been real dull this trip. The trouble with you, Steve, is that you're strictly an action guy. Okay. You can make for home now. Fireball XL5 leaving patrol area. Two, three, four, zero, blue, Robert. Holding homing course, two, three, four, zero, blue. Everything A-OK -okay with you, Matt? Everything's just boy, Steve. Say, Venus, how about you? Doing anything? Zuni and I have got a date. Oh, you have. Anyone I know? Well, you should do. It's you, you two, T. Well, I hope it's more exciting than this patrol. Take over. This is an emergency. A gun, Commander. In Gamma Ship 3 0, reporting to Electra Control. Neutroni bomb on Earth, spaceship, Fireball XL 5 successfully exploded, awaiting further orders. This is Ultra Archon. Congratulations, Commander. Now carry out stage two of plan. Capture the Earthmen and return to base for recharging. Over. Stage two, commencing. <laughs> Steve's overdue with the latest routine homing check. Call him up, Lieutenant. Space City to Fireball XL5. Space City to Fireball XL5. Thank you. 
Space City to Fireball XL5. Space City to Fireball XL5. Are you receiving me, Fireball XL5? Over. I don't like it. They've just disappeared. Not disappeared, sir. Look at the star map at the edge of Sector 25. Fireball is absolutely stationary. A sitting target. Where's the nearest patrol ship? A uh, light patrol LP-22 in Sector 26. Call him up. Tell him to investigate. Space City to LP-22. Space City to LP-22. Over. LP-22. Master Astronaut Kelly receiving you loud and clear. Over. Investigate Fireball XL-5. In free float Sector 25. Reference code 2410 red. Proceed at once and maintain contact. Over. LP-22. Go, go, go. Space gyro mechanism is badly damaged. Can it be repaired? I sure hope so. Without it, we can't get Fireball back to base. Better ask Matt what he thinks. By the way, where is he? Come on, Robert. Switch off. Switch off. Switch off. Not that switch, you stupid robot. The other switch. Other switch. Other switch. Thank goodness. No! Help! Robert! Robert, you, you, you raving, ridiculous robot! Raving, ridiculous, raving, ridiculous. Hey, what goes on? Help, Steve. Help. The master switch, Robert. Master switch. Wait till I get my hands on that robot. Help! Poor Matthew, but you should know better than to call Robert names. He's a very sensitive robot, you know. A good thing the fire didn't reach the fuel tanks. You must have moved fast, Steve. I had to. What do you reckon caused the explosion? This, in the mechanism of the space gyro itself. A bomb? A neutroni control bomb, to be exact. Must have been planted on fireball and exploded by remote control neutroni signals. Yeah, it looks like somebody wanted us to be stranded right here in space. A neat and very nasty piece of sabotage. We must try to get in touch with Commander Zero. Maybe he can send help from the next sector. If somebody else doesn't reach us first, Venus is trying to get through now. Fireball to Space City. Fireball to Space City. Oh, it's no use. The explosion must have damaged the Neutroni accelerator. Any luck with the transmitter, Venus? No, Steve. Have you found out what caused the explosion? A Neutroni control bomb in the gyro mechanism. We, uh, we can make temporary repairs to get us back to base, but it'll take time. Meanwhile, fireballs are sitting duck. Commander, unidentified spacecraft entering Sector 25 and is traveling towards Fireball. I can see that, but what is it? That's what I want to know. Your guess is as good as mine, sir. Guess? We don't guess in Space City, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Space City to LP-22. This is Commander Zero. For pity's sake, step on it, Kelly. I'm doing my best, Commander. First thing we've got to do is to repair this section here. Steve, look. Gamma ray. There's nothing we can do. Only a second. And all of them, even the robot, are stunned. The light will attract them, draw them towards us like moths. No living being can resist the Gamma Ray. Uh. 
Come, little space moths. Into the gamma light, you come. Collection of moths pinned on a show card. Hey, Colonel Zodiac. Everything is blurred, isn't it, Colonel? The effect of the gamma ray seems to have affected your friends more deeply. You. You. It's useless to try to get up, Colonel. Every Earth patrol in the area will be searching for us. I'm afraid not, Steve Zodiac. Bombs have been planted on every ship, and the gamma ray is still effective in Fireball XL5. Where are you taking us? To the planet Electra. Now, while I am gone, I shall switch on the gamma ray, just to keep you in your present weak state. Just relax, Colonel. Relax, and the journey to Electra will soon be over. Look, Commander. The unidentified ship is moving right away from Fireball. Well, either that was a friendly spaceship or they've taken Steve and the crew with them. Or worse. Well, Kelly will soon tell us the answer. Anesthetic radiation. Under its influence, we're virtually paralyzed. Even Robert's out for the count. Gamma light has affected his photocells. But, but what will happen to us, Steve? I don't know, Venus. According to the Archon commander, we are heading for the planet Electra. Guess we're gonna be recharged there. Gamma spaceships can't stay in space for long at a time. That's why they've never got as far as Earth. I just hope no one from Space City tries to find us. They've all got Neutroni bombs planted on board. Space City to LP-22, Master Astronaut Kelly, come in please. Over. LP-22, are you receiving me? Are you receiving me, LP-22? Something's very wrong, sir. I'll say there is. Only one way to find out what goes on, that's to go see for myself. Prepare Space Rescue Ship 1 for takeoff immediately. Yes, sir. Space Rescue Ship 1, required for immediate takeoff. Space, Space Rescue ready. Crew, emergency ready. ready. Emergency ready. ready. Code 24, go. Code 24, go.
So these are the Earth people. What a puny lot. Pink and flabby. What have you got against the Space Patrol? They only try to keep the peace? Silence, Earthmen. We do not need your help. We are a superior race. We have had our eye on Earth for a long time. It is the prize of the universe, and it will soon be ours. You wouldn't stand a chance. First, we will take over your stranded spaceships, and then make our way to Earth. Our agents have already planted the Neutroni bombs all over Space City. As we approach, we shall explode them all, and Earth will be defenseless. What do you say to that, pink people? I think you're crazy. Take them away, Commander, to the storeroom. Put them with all the junk, but leave this one behind. He's really interesting. Nothing pink and flabby about him. I think we'll conduct a few experiments with him. <laughs> Space Rescue Ship One, all checks here go. Full power. Good luck, Commander. Thanks, Lieutenant. Sit down. Stand up. Walk. Now stop. Turn round. <laughs> Poor Robert. He's having a tough time. Yeah. Serve him right if he goes berserk. If only we could get out of here. If only we could see to get out of here. The effects of the gamma ray still haven't quite worn off yet. Hey, what's this? These are great. I can see perfectly. Pity there aren't any more. A fascinating plaything. Stop! The gamma ship will be almost ready. I'd better go to see how the pink Earth people are getting on. Good, Commander. Someone's coming, Steve. Now's our chance. What's the matter, pink man? Venus, you take his glasses. Lead Maddox to the gamma ship. I'll join you there as soon as I've got Robert. Most ingenious. Most ingenious. The Earthmen are not as stupid as I thought. That's right. We're not. Earthmen! And not so helpless as you thought. My... my vision is... is definitely clearing. We are standing by for takeoff. All set to go when you are, Steve. Okay, you took them apart. Now you can put them together. And make it snappy. The Venus will be ready for takeoff in two minutes. Entering Sector 25 now. Look, Steve, the space rescue ship, SR-1. I can see a gamma spaceship at 210 red. Prepare interceptors. I'm going in to engage. Gamma spaceship 210. Closing. It's Commander Zero. He's going to attack us. Call him up on the Neutroni radio, Steve, and tell him we're aboard. Are you crazy? If there's one of those Neutroni bombs planted on the rescue ship, the Neutroni radio waves could set it off. What can we do, Steve? Interceptor one ready. Standing by to correct course. Ten seconds. Steve, ten seconds before he fires. 
We'll be blown to pieces. Quiet, Venus. Try to think. Six seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. I've got it. Sorry, Commander, but it was either that or the end of all of us. Okay. But next time you cut loose with a gamma ray zodiac, take it easy. Boy, have I got a headache. Have an old-fashioned aspirin, Commander. Still the best cure for a headache. And while you're about it, Venus, I could do it a couple of pills, too. I got an even bigger headache. That's because you've got a bigger head. What are you trying to do, qualify for a purple heart? Now, see here, Commander. I'm not used to being insulted like that. Well, you soon will be. We've a long journey back to Earth, and if I don't knock some sense into that thick skull of yours before we reach Earth, my name isn't Zero. They don't call me the terror of Space City for nothing. Well, Steve, by the sound of it, the Gamma Ray hasn't harmed Commander Zero one little bit. In fact, he sounds in better shape than ever. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes. We'd take the path to Jupiter and maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way and land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust we'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball, a fireball Cause you'd be my Venus of the stars 